Okay then, uh, I'm going to take a look at uh, Oh Mummy uh, Genesis version and as per usual with the uh, format of my videos I'm going to take a look at what's in the box first. Um, I think you'll notice that the uh, quality of the actual um, artwork is it's really up to kind of a professional uh, quality standard. It could could have actually been a proper uh, Mega Drive release. Um, really kind of quite nice anime characters on there quite nicely produced um, I will say something the, the, the company apparently had problems with the um, the, the actual uh, f manufacturers that they actually used um, in Hong Kong um, as a subsequent well subsequently um, some of this stuff feels a bit cheap unfortunately um, I mean it's easy enough to swap the case out um, as I said the art you know the quality of the artwork is very very good uh, the layout you'll see is like a proper official Mega Drive release and have a look in here so we've got our game cartridge and we've actually got the manual as well slight problem with the game cartridge that I found was the fact that um, <clears throat> stickers fine that looks great well you know all nice professional product um, but the cartridge itself, you can, it's actually quite easy to take apart. Um, they've not put screws in here. They've put it's just basically it's just like a it's just like a press press stud. You press them both together, and yeah, it stays together. Um, easily remedied by just gluing it together, or even I even know some people who've actually stuck screws in it to actually get it to work. But um, yeah, slight slight issue there with the with the production quality. Um, I can live with it. It is it is a fan made game, so I suppose there are certain allowances. And um, luckily, the game itself is very very good, so you, it, it it can get away with it really. Um, and now we've have a look at the card, the actual manual itself. Really really nice high quality manual. Um, as you can see, uh, it's kind of multiple languages, uh, but it's actually better than some Mega Drive uh, release um, instruction manuals I've seen. Full colour, um, it's more kind of Japanese style than the European style um, cartridge. Lots of uh, yeah, little, little bits like this, like the uh, disclaimer manual on there. There's, a, there's someone smashing up a a SNES as well, a bit of uh, Mega Drive SNES rivalry there, um, telling you not to ram the cartridge into the actual uh, console itself. But yeah, I found that kind of little touches, there's quite a few little touches like that which are quite cool. Um, the obligatory uh, note sheet in the back as well gives it an extra level of uh, authenticity. Um, and a nice little graphic on the back there. So, as I said, you know, the, the it's very hit and miss really as, as, as a package uh, looks professional has got some lovely little features but it's let down just by sloppy manufacturer manufacturer which the the company themselves um, yeah are, are, are kind of aware of and I'm sure for the next release they'll, they'll sort that out okay so yeah I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the lovely loft here and um, Oh mummy, verdict time. Um, I'm really impressed with it actually to be honest. Um, you'll have seen in the kind of like in the what's in the box section that the uh, yeah the the actual package itself is very kind of like I've used this phrase before it is very hit and miss. There are certain aspects of it that are really nicely put together and certain aspects of it which are a bit shoddy which are manufacturing issues. Um, basically the, the the company um, is a team of kind of complete in independence. This is one of the first games they've released, and it was just to see if they, I think, basically if they could actually uh, pull the game together and actually release it. So, um, had issues actually getting the game through as well, which again, annoying, really, really annoying sending multiple emails to actually get them to, to, to send the game, but. I'm, I can forgo all that because it's just it's all about 
how the game plays at this at this point. And and luckily for them, um, it's a cracking, cracking game. Um, <coughs> you get two versions of the game on here. You get basically a new revamped version. You also get as a bonus the um, a part of the original Amstrad release um, on there as well, which brought back great memories because Home Mummy was a game that I played tons and tons and tons on the Amstrad. Um, very competent Amidar clone, uh, set in a kind of like in a, in Egypt in a in, in in basically in a series of mazes where you uh, you basically have to go around the 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 sarcophagus or I don't know whether it's kind of like you're digging out these uh, yeah bonuses and uh, other mummies and you know all sorts <laughs> it, it's a really really cool game really cool maze game actually um, and yeah the the, the revamped uh, Genesis version um, is amazing it, it adds loads and loads and loads to the actual to the formula it makes it much a much better in-depth game I think um, graphically you'll see it looks very very nice up to a professional standard I'd say the, mu the remix soundtrack is, is, is just really really cool as well really catchy um, they've added more, more powers, power ups in there there's even some pretty impressive boss battles too uh, which weren't in the original um, yeah, as I said, all those all those problems that they had with the manufacturer go by the wayside really when it's such a good good game, and it's slightly annoying that you know other outside issues that went to do with the game, you know, nearly derailed it. Um, but I, I I do highly recommend it. Um, not cheap to pick up at the moment. Um, part of the problem that they actually had um, with the issue of the game was. They weren't expecting they weren't the demand to be there. Um, there's a few eBay raised sellers that bought like multiple copies um, of the game, and 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 then basically it, it yeah buggered up the production because uh, they weren't geared up to produce so many uh, so many copies of the game effectively. So uh, it's a shame that something like that's kind of spoiled um, the experience to some degree. But um, as I say, if if you can find if you can find a copy and it's reasonably priced, I'd, I'd pick it up because it's great. I've really enjoyed it. So yeah, it's short and sweet really, but um, quality indie release. That's that's all I can say really. Okay, thank you for watching, and I will uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right, goodbye.